Russia. The Ukrainian army continued to suffer significant losses during the special military operation. I would like to note that in recent weeks, incidents involving the shooting of Ukrainian servicemen and backed by nationalist units have become more frequent in areas of military operations. Thus, after a fire preparation for an attack by Russian troops near Novomikhailovka in Donetsk People's Republic, more than 30 servicemen of the 25th Battalion of the 54th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces decided to lay down their arms and surrender. Ukrainian servicemen occupying strongholds near Zveroferma asked the Russian unit command via radio to cease fire and provide a corridor for exit. Around 10 p.m., Ukrainian Armed Forces servicemen with white flags began moving towards Russian positions. At that moment, a Ukrainian nationalist barrier unit arrived at the stronghold in armored vehicles and opened crossfire in the back on the servicemen of the 54th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. As a result of this shooting, 32 Ukrainian servicemen were fatally wounded and killed. This incident, as well as many others like it, clearly demonstrates that amid growing military failures and demoralization of Ukrainian troops, the Kyiv nationalist regime is trying to stop the retreat and surrender of its units by punitive actions of various squads. The lives of Ukrainian servicemen and mobilized fighters of the territorial defense units mean nothing to the current leadership of Ukraine.